Hello, my name's Artemis and, well, it is Christmas, so first of all, happy Christmas, if that is, of course, what you celebrate. If not, I hope you're still having a fantastic day. And, um, yeah, today is a Friday, which is when I usually upload my videos, and it is also Christmas Day, which means that uh, it's been quite a rush to get to this point. So, I thought I would do something slightly different. You see, in this country, we have the Queen's Speech, which happens every Christmas day. It happens at around three o'clock, just about when everybody's finished off the Christmas dinner, they all had a bit to drink, all the presents are open, and you're generally just feeling like you're gonna go into hibernation. And she comes on out and gives us a little speech on exactly how the world needs to be, despite living in a gilded palace and not really doing a lot about it. But it is a tradition. And today is a day where my typical upload schedule has fallen on Christmas Day and I thought, fuck it, let's do the doggo speech. Let's, let's give our own little version of this regal royal little speech and see what I can come up with. Now before I begin, I should point out, and I'm going to point out, so here it is, me pointing it out, I have not written a single word for this video. I do not know exactly what I'm going to say, but I do know what I want to speak about because I want this video to be slightly more serious, slightly more meaningful and from the heart. So I'm just basically going to start talking and when I feel like I've said what I wanted to say or I'm happy with what I've said, I'm going to stop. Um, if you don't feel like this is the biggest, most exciting video on YouTube, then I don't care. Sometimes I want to do something for me, something a bit more meaningful and we can't always be chasing views all the goddamn time. Okay, so, whew, set it up well, didn't I? Here we go. Christmas is a point of the year that is typically a point where you look back over the rest of the year and how it's been. It is one of those points that we come to every single year which marks the end of this particular period of time. We have gone from 2019 to 2020 and we are entering into 2021. It's a point of reflection. It's a point where you look back and have a look at how things were and what you want to change for the future. And unfortunately, that's, that can bring a lot of stress around to a lot of people. And I'm not going to just make another video of me standing here saying, 2020 was a shit year, loads of bad stuff happened. Because we've done that enough. We know this year is shit, we don't need to be reminded of it. Christmas is a time where we can try and forget about that particular brand of shit that we've all been spoon-fed since, well, January the fucking 1st this year. But no, rather... It's a point where you look back at what has happened in your life and you take this arbitrary little counter, this little measurement of time in life and decide well, maybe I want to do something to change in the future. Maybe there's a different direction I want to walk in. And that's what I want to talk to you about today, I think. I want to talk about the past, the present and the future and how exactly you need to be viewing each one differently. You see, the present doesn't truly exist. It is happening as I speak, but everything I say ends up in the past, but I'm not going to get all existential on it. So it's something that is constantly evolving, and it's something that you have most control over, because the future is unwritten. We don't know what it's going to be. This time last year, could we ever have conceived we would have been in a pandemic right now? Of course not. So we have no idea what we could see happen in the next couple of months, the next year or so. But it's the past that I think gives us the most pressure, the most problems. And it's the past that I feel really lives in our brain rent free when we need to find a way to accept it and move on. You see, this year, if anything, has taught us the pitfalls of thinking, look how good things were last year. Why can't they be this way again? Will they ever change? And we have a sense of holding on to the past. We have a sense of wanting to get back to what we once had as if that is even possible. Every second that is in the past is a second that is locked in stone and it is gone. There is no changing it. There's no getting back to that. There is only going forward. That's the direction we need to think in. It's so easy to sit here and sit, and I can do it. I can do it myself and I have been doing it and I want to stop doing it. To think back, I used to know these people in the past. I don't know them anymore. I used to speak to this person last year. They don't speak to me anymore. I used to do these things, I used to go to these places, I used to enjoy so much of this shit that I just can't do right now. That's not healthy. That's not healthy for me, that's not healthy for anybody. You need to look at these memories and enjoy what you had and accept that everything in life is temporary. Nothing does stay the same forever. Nothing sticks around. Even if I was to love one single person for the rest of my life, that's still just until the rest of my life. It is still temporary. And a lot of people find pain in that. I do, sure. I certainly find pain in that. I struggle. I see people that I used to have a close connection with that I don't hear from anymore, and it hurts. It does. 
But I can't fixate on that. I can't just only have that final little thing as the way I remember them, because that does nothing for me. That just hurts. That's pain. That's just stupid. I have a lot of happy memories of a lot of happy people. That's what I choose to remember. That's what I try my hardest to keep in my head. I have a lot of happy memories of good times. I saw things go to the absolute extremes, the absolute worst that I thought they could ever be. I saw myself not wanting to be here and potentially putting action into making that the case. But that didn't happen. Those bad times, they were temporary as well. And those times that I thought would never end, those times where I didn't want to be here, they improved. I got through them. And it's so weird how you can have these experiences in your life. You can consistently keep looking at all these times where it looked like the world was falling apart, but it didn't and it got better. But you forget it. When you're living through these times, you never can see it. You never know it. Just as quickly as everything can turn to shit in an instant, that you can turn a corner and get hit by a bus, things can improve. You don't know how it happens. Nobody knows how you get through these hard times. You look back and you think, well, I made it, but how? What steps did I take? How did I, in those darkest moments, keep putting one foot in front of the other until I found myself through it? Nobody knows. It's just something you do. It's something you've got to keep on doing. I've seen a lot of people this year talking about how it's really affected them that they can't see friends, that they can't see family, that they can't go to conventions. And I feel it. I've been there with you. It's, it's terrible. It's horrible. When you have these things in your life, which are the very reason you really enjoy life, you want to be alive and continue moving forward, and then you have them taken away, nobody can be expected to deal with that. Nobody can be expected to just take that on the chin as if that is the best fucking thing in the world. That's difficult, and it gets to people. But you all have to believe that it won't stay that way forever. Everything is temporary. As a famous film quote that's probably not that famous once said, and I do love it, it can't rain all the time. Things do improve. You will see times again that are going to be just as difficult, and you'll think, oh shit, what the fuck, how is it ever going to be better again? It's times like this I tell people, but I never tell myself, that you need to think fourth dimensionally. You need to think about the you of the future. The you that is looking back on this memory that's happening right now and thinking, wow, that looks shitty, that was horrible, how did we ever get through that? But we did. You want to look back on the one that wonders how it ever looked so hopeless. You need to look forward and think about that time and that place and that position that you're going to be in where you got through it. You reconnected with people. You found your way forward. You had a convention, maybe, and you're looking back and thinking, wow, that was a real long time that we had to deal with that, but I'm so happy I stuck around, and I'm so happy that we made it here. All of us hold on to the past because in times like this, it's all we have left. And it's, it's nice to have those memories, but when you start to view them in a sense of loss, that doesn't do you any good. That just hurts you. And you can't keep making decisions that hurt you. You have to make decisions that benefit you, that find you moving forward. Maybe that's the change we should all try and make this year. Maybe that's the thing that we should put into our head. That as good as it is to think about the past and romanticize what we once had, it's not about getting back to that. It's about moving forward to something better, something so good we can't even imagine it right now. And as shitty and horrible and hallmark as it sounds, you've got to keep the hope alive that you will get to that point. I hope everybody's having a good Christmas. I hope everybody's doing as well as they can. And I hope if you are struggling that you're reaching out for that help, that you're not listening to those voices in your head that tell you that nobody cares, because they do. It's difficult to consistently keep telling somebody, please talk to me, but they want to. Sometimes life is busy. Sometimes people are caught up with things that are going on that you don't even know about. Reach out to people, send a message, say hello. If you're sitting here watching this and you're listening to my words and you're thinking, oh yeah, there's people like that in my life that you want to reconnect with, send them a message. It costs nothing to take that first step and say, hey, I know it's been a while, but how are things? And of course, this is not an open invitation for you to just go out and message people that were bad for you, okay? Let's, uh, uh, let's not get my words twisted. Sometimes people move on and that is exactly how life should go. 
But if you generally have those people in your life and you sit there and you wish that you spoke to more people, put that effort in. You've done it before, you can do it again. I believe that. I have to believe that. I hope everybody has a Merry Christmas. I hope everybody stays safe. And if you're not celebrating Christmas, then I hope you just have a really good fucking time. And I hope everybody takes care of themselves. I think that is everything I wanted to say. I'm just going to say it. I think I've upstaged the Queen. <sighs> That's right. I got the inspirational shit. She's going to talk about, I don't know, Brexit or some bullshit. Because nothing screams inspirational like crashing headfirst off a cliff into economic ruin. Glad I could still make this political. Okay, I'm going to stop now. Hey, look, I'm not even going to advertise the patron. Oh, I just did. Ah, fuck it. Advertise the patron. Join it. <laughs> Have a good year, everybody. Uh, let's just wave goodbye to 2020 on its way out the fucking door and do what we can to make 21 better than that. I'll see you next week. <laughs>